Are you going? You say you're taking a shower? No, I'm going to your house. Oh. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Sports Talk, week number eleven. I'm your host, Mike Yellick, alongside the Dust, Dustin Pastula. <laughs> what that was? Uh, <laughs> let's begin with Thursday night football. And you know what? A year ago, I would have been like, oh, this is such a bad matchup. This is actually not a bad matchup now. It could be mm -hmm. playoff positions in the AFC, which I don't care about. But uh, we have the Buffalo Bills, 5-4, and four, at the Miami Dolphins, if they're 5-4. and four. I'm actually going with, in this game, the Buffalo Bills, because the Miami Dolphins laid, they just looked horrible against the Detroit Lions. And, the, and again, the Detroit Lions, I'm sorry, they're not that good. So if Miami can't beat them... They're definitely not going to beat the Buffalo Bills, who I think are even a better team than the Lions. So I'm going to go with the Bills. I disagree. I'm going to go with Miami. I think their defense is stronger. I don't think Buffalo Bills have that good of an offense. So, And I think Tannehill gets lucky every now and then. And I think he gets lucky this Thursday, and they beat the Buffalo Bills. Okay, he didn't look that strong against the, uh, the Lions. Which is why I said every now and then. Got to catch those small words there, Mike. <laughs> The Vikings, who are five, four and five, against probably the most disappointing team of the whole year, uh, uh, the dreadful Chicago Bears, Chicago. who are awful, uh, and they're three and six. And I think the Vikings absolutely win this game. And it's even at the Bears, and I don't even care. I mean, they're, they're terrible. I was watching, like, I, my girlfriend and I, Nikki, were at the hotel. I actually turned on Sunday Night Football. I'm like, oh, let me see if the, how good this game, because it's probably gonna be a good game. It's a division game. And it was 44 to nothing. I'm like, never mind. And I turned it right off. I don't even, like, how do you get 44 to nothing? It's a division game. The Bears are horrible. I don't care if they have three wins. They might as well have none. If you do that, you're not, you're not going to win more than five games this entire year. That's right. The Bears will go 5-11 and 11 or worse. Book it. Right here, I made it. And it's November 11th. I don't even care. 12th, whatever. So, okay, you were, I saw you were going to say something, but I'm serious. They're not going to win this game. Absolutely not. Vikings destroy them. Would you agree? I'm going to pick the Vikings. Thank you. <laughs> the Texans. <laughs> There's not much I can say. <laughs> the Texans, who are 4-5. and five, Voice cracked. At the Browns, who are winning their division, and it's Yay! November. Can you believe that? No, but did I say this year? Remember, I oh, said look that. What they, look what they did on Thursday. I mean, come on. I know that was fantastic. And I, but did I not say at the beginning of the year that watch out for the Browns? And everyone was like, okay, they're not going to win their division. Guess what? They're winning their division right now. I don't know if it stays, but they're winning their division right now. It's in November. Well, I say I at least they're going to at least beat the Texans. Yeah, and I'll, I'll go with the Browns. Obviously, they, I mean they, they beat the Texans. The Seahawks at the Chiefs. This it goes against all what I was saying with the Seahawks. Uh, but they don't travel well. So I'm actually going with the Chiefs. Uh, well, they only have to come halfway across country. So True. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. Okay. <laughs> the Falcons. Oh, God. See, this is another just terrible game. Are at Falcons. the Panthers, who are Falcons. three, six, and one. Falcons. I'm actually going with the Falcons in this. Falcons. Yeah, I mean, the Panthers, the just, they stink. Uh, then I'm going with the Bengals, who are five, three, and one. <laughs> I'm so glad we got a tie again. Uh, are at the uh, the Saints for the favorite team. Yeah, the, I'm going with the Bengals. Absolutely, the Bengals destroy the Saints. The Saint Drew Brees. There's something wrong this year with him. I think he, uh, they're terrible. I think the Saints win, but I'm going to go with the Bengals. So wait, but you can't go with them, but you think they don't win. Like, who do you who wins? I'm going to pick the Bengals. Okay, well, you just said you think the Saints win. I do. All right, that makes no sense. But There's I no want logic the Bengals here. to win, so I'm going to go with the Bengals. All right. The Bucks, who are 1-8, and eight, are at the Redskins, who are 3-6. and six. This is a dreadful game, too. And uh, I'm actually just going with the team that might the, have a chance. I'm going with the team with the better record. So, yeah, uh, the Redskins win this game, but not by much. Uh, I think it's uh, – it, this is not by much at all. Um, they might win by a field goal or something, but the Redskins, I win this game. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. The Broncos. This is an easy, another easy game. That's not, every time I look at the Broncos, though, they're not really playing anyone. They're I'm just seeing, saying. Seeing easy teams. Yeah. I know. Who are seven and two? All right, I get it. Are at the Rams, who are three and six. I'm going with the Broncos. There's no way the Rams win this. Yes. We just made a switch at quarterback, by the way. Did they? Nawson Davis, because of that horrible fourth quarter he had against the. Great Cardinals. Yeah, they they, uh, they benched Austin Davis and now have Sean Hill. <laughs> yeah, Sean Hill. Why is it always the backup that 
that I'm always seeing out in the Midwest. Sean like, Hill. Sean Hill, really? So, Sean Hill. That 40, makes me go with the Broncos. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the 49ers, who are four, five and four, <laughs> are at the Giants, who are three and six. This is a surprising game. I actually have the Giants winning this because 49ers. the 49ers are not going to... I don't 49ers. think they travel well, do you? 49ers. I just hate the Giants. I don't. I hate the Giants too, but I don't think they're. I, 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 I need to the really Giants hate the this. team for the, me to pick the Giants, and I ain't picking them. <laughs> there we go. Game of the week. <laughs> the 0 and 9 Raiders, who have not won anything this year, <laughs> are at the Chargers, oh, who man. are 5 and 4. And you know what? They're going to be 0 and 10 because I'm picking the Chargers. There's no way oh, the man. Raiders win this. The, the Raiders are just. <laughs> they're just. You know, I. You know what? If the Raiders win this game, I'm going to wear a dress next week. If you were to find John Madden right now, he'd be like, what? I never coached the Raiders. Yeah. What are you talking about? I mean, if you ask that that guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Oh, this is going to be great. No, what's that guy's name and the the old old owner uh, of the the Raiders? What was his name? Uh Uh-huh. The guy who's Uh dead now. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'm trying to think of his name, but he's probably rolling in his grave. Chargers. Chargers. The Eagles, who are seven and two, are at Green Bay Packers, who are six and three. I'm going with the Packers. I think it's a very tough place to play. It's gonna be snowing. It's gonna be snowing here, but it's also gonna be snowing up there. So, yeah, there's no way I'm going with the Packers in this one. Six and four. Eagles continue to win. What? You think the Eagles are gonna win this game? Eagles continue to win. Okay. Uh, Lions are at the. They're seven and two, by the way, and they're at the Cardinals, who are eight and one. Cards. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. gonna play my cards right and say Arizona wins. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Cards as well, uh, but just because I think the Lions are a smoke and mirrors team. Uh, the Patriots are seven and two, and they're at the Colts, who are six and three. Uh, I do really think this is a good game. I do too. Uh, just like the Eagles, Eagles Packers, we're getting a lot of good games this I, week. We're also getting a lot of bad games. But uh, I'm also there's, gonna, no, there's no middle ground this week. It's no, just, it's either a really good game or a really bad game. Uh, and I'm actually going with the Patriots in this one. I think Tom Colts. Brady beat really, really. Andy looks not good when he goes against Bill Belichick, though. Colts. Okay, I'm stuck in my throat. The uh, Steelers. Let's not start that again. Okay. <laughs> Are at. They're six and four, by the way, and coming off a very disappointing. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't see Michael Vick beating the. Uh... Whoa! What happened there, by the way? We Whoa! Have... Right, let's talk about that. Whoa! The I... one and eight Jets beat the six and three Steelers. I didn't see that happen. It was like a Twilight Zone episode. I, I was. Ben Roethlisberger had 12 touchdowns I was, in two weeks before that. I was literally at work and just like this. Yeah, like, it was six. T- it was 17 nothing. I, it was... Jets. The what? Steelers couldn't even take a piss. It was bad. It was bad. Like, uh, there was nothing I, I, else. I, don't know, they, they, I, I mean, it was like watching... A bunch of blind kids try to tie their shoes. Like, I... <laughs> they they yeah, couldn't do anything. They're not good. I mean... But I still think they beat the Titans, who are well, dreadfully bad. I mean... It, How many times do I say dreadful today on the show for whatever reason? I don't, I don't know, know. I, mean, I don't it, like it when it's lumped in with my team. I understand they're not playing, but, <laughs> but like, let it go. <laughs> let it go. All right, so who wins go. this game? Who wins this game? Steelers. Okay, yeah, I think the Steelers win too. Although, I will say, Stop it. like I Stop. say every year, the Titans always have the Steelers number. Do they really? Always. I think they do, actually. They always have the Steelers number. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I think it was two, three years ago, they had the same crappy record, and the Steelers were actually better than that. I, I think they had one loss, mm. and the freaking Titans beat them. Well, I, I like that. how the, let me go back to that Jets and Steelers game. The Jets acted like they won the Super Bowl. Oh, well, like, I mean, they did. <laughs> And I think Rex Ryan just wanted to get a win. I mean, he was just like, oh, man. you know, I mean, I'm... I want to keep my job. Well, he's not going to keep his job, but he you knows... You never know. Look he's how long Andy Reid had his job, and he deserved to get fired five years before. Jeez. He never did this. One year he did this, and he did get fired after that year. I mean, Andy Reid ne- always had a winning record, or 8-8, eight and eight, uh, aside from the last year he was here when he went 4-12. and 12. But, Boocha, boocha. I mean, I honestly, I, I don't see how the... Uh, come on. Where the Jets playing this week, by the way? Oh, bye. they have a bye week. Okay. Bye bye. Same with the ga- Cowboys. They uh, the Cowboys. <laughs> the Cowboys. They have uh, the Cowboys. They have a bye week. But let me just say this: we have uh, about five minutes left. 
So let me just say this. Out of all these teams in the NFL right now, I would say our games of the week, by far, you have the Patriots at the Colts, Eagles at the Packers, Eagles at the Packers, Buffalo at Miami. Yeah. Buffalo at Miami. I'm looking at that Seahawks Chiefs game, too. That's Buffalo gonna, at Miami. Be a good game. You don't think uh, Seahawks is a Seahawks Chiefs game? Yeah, you could also get a very good game because they're both so poor. Worst game the, of the week. You could also. I'm saying you could also get a very good game from the yeah. Panthers and the Falcons because yeah. they're both so bad that they could make each other look good. Yeah, I think the uh, worst Broncos game of the week, and Rams. Yeah, well, the worst game's right above that. I think the Bucks at the Redskins. Uh, That's gonna be a sleep. Just I don't even want to watch. Just because neither of them I really won't. play well, so it's yeah. like at least the Broncos like have, will have some great plays and be interesting to watch. Yeah. I mean, even the Raiders and the Chargers. The Chargers play like the Chargers have some pretty cool plays that they can I'm perform. Confused with the, they confuse me. They, just like the Steelers. Like I mean, there's that's what I mean. I only care about the NFC, but there a lot of people in the NFL, for that matter, are very confusing. A lot of teams are very confusing. I mean, you have a team like the Steelers who throw 12 touchdowns for two weeks and then just do that against the Jets next week. Do and then a team that, like the Chargers, when they get, they're up and down. And, Chargers you know, are very inconsistent. That's why I think the best teams in the NFL right now, I'm going to say the Eagles, I'm going to say the Packers, because the Packers look consistent. And they opened up at Seattle, which is the best place to play. I mean, Packers are on a one-game so, winning streak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, you really think the Packers are gonna are gonna lose against the Eagles? I I, I think you know. I Let's think, talk about this I the rest think, of the time here. Right? I think you have your head up Aaron Rodgers' butt. No, I don't. But he's I a really better do. quarterback. I don't and care if he's a better you cannot quarterback. Cannot blitz him. There's he will make three. you pay. There's he's gonna make you pay. Three. I don't care. There's they're okay. They're all they're right. okay. They're all, all right. They're above average. They're, <laughs> they're above the best average. team. What I believe, aside from records aside, because I, I sorry, Arizona, Detroit. No, I think they're the best team in the NFC along with the Eagles. And I think a litmus test, a great litmus test for the Eagles. But I, I honestly, unfortunately, Did you I think just refer a litmus test. Yes. I didn't even know you knew what that was. <laughs> Look at this guy. Uh, I think the Eagles fail this litmus test. They'll win next week. I mean, well, uh, what's okay, a real obviously. litmus test? Listen, just stop. Listen, real quick. They'll lose next, or they they'll win next week. They have the Titans. But as far as the Packers go, there is no way Aaron Rodgers will make you pay if you go blitzing him. Guess what? I understand the Eagles are second in the league against getting to the quarterback. Look, you know all the they, Eagles have to do is make sure they double check the backfield before they go for the sack. <laughs> You know, You're having there. Kerry Williams and Nate Allen back there. Mike and they this cannot... count. What? Yeah, this Listen. count. They're double check. Oh, all right. <laughs> Listen, I do think discount double check gets it done this week. I, I think the Packers absolutely. And here's what I'm calling it: Four, wait, 35-21 Packers. Cool. Do you 35-21 Packers? And it is November 12th, right here Wednesday. And I'm saying 35-21 Packers win this game. 21-17 Eagles. All right. And with that, we will see you next week right here on Let's Do It. Ba -da -da -da! Sports Talk. We're coming back next week. I can't believe you really are picking the... I am.